police cars blocked out the way for ambulances to come through and medics were they reported that they were confused on where to go and when to come. Our solution was to implement a situational awareness system for public soft target spaces using existing Wi-Fi infrastructures and we would provide a common operating picture containing personal edge device state estimation to facilitate man facility managers and first responders. Good. So there are going to be three edge devices that can be used in our system. The first one is uh, implementing smart lanyards. Those are small Arduino devices that we can attach to school IDs. Um, for privacy concerns, this would be like the least concerning because it's easy to take it off. Um, it's also very low cost. Um, it, it's about maybe $5.31 per Persons. So in the case of the Uvalde school shootings, for that school it would cost around $3,000, which is under the security budget, so it would be realistic. Uh, the other, one, the other uh, edge device is a mobile app. Uh, this allows, uh, while, to, while downloading the mobile app, this allows servers to collect proximity data, which shows a general view of where people are. Um, so people, when they go to a concert or a game, they're, they're more likely to download an app to be able to attend uh, those kinds of um, venues. So they would be more likely to download the app. And biometric devices could also be used uh, with uh, using APIs to send uh, messages about heart rate data. The way we did this was by using a smart lanyard in which we attacked, attached a device to um, each student's lanyard. and that device would be able to collect information about um, the student's location. With device, the, the device that we used was an ESP32, which is a micro microcontroller that has Wi-Fi capabilities. The device would collect information about the MAC address, the RSSI, as well as the SSID. Here you can see an uh, overall architectural view of what we imagine the system might be. So you can see the existing network is this uh, X axis, and then you would have uh, the local server, which we we'll, uh, provide to the system, and uh, the cloud service to do update the live, live site. Then uh, the existing network is what's connected to our uh, lower level devices, which is our phones, our ESP tag, and the RFID system. This is our functional website prototype featuring the common operating picture updating in real time using scalable cloud database. We also features interactive elements for the users to share information to help increase operational effectiveness. Different types of users will have different access to information following the cybersecurity principle of least privilege to minimize risks of compromised accounts or insider attack. The app can also be used in many settings because it use, utilizes existing frameworks and infrastructure. In stadiums, our responders can quickly locate the attackers and avoid waiting through large crowds. In museums, we could also use this to improve uh, safety plans and plan escape routes. Um, airports could also implement our solution at lower cost because routers and other high-end technology is generally implemented throughout the airport. As for malls and recreational centers, I believe that this solution could also be implemented there because, yeah, crowd control. What we were able to demonstrate in this hackathon was that we built a functional smart lanyard prototype uh, we built and tested a functional tracking uh, mobile app. Uh, we successfully uh, mapped active edge devices on the COP in real time. Uh, what we hope to uh, achieve in the future is incorporate biometric data from smartwatches or fitness trackers, detect and localize active shooters in real time using edge device microphones, use AI and machine learning to develop strategies for rapid evacuation and pu in public spaces and integrate first responder edge devices into the COP. This is a smart lanyard. It has a low cost microprocessor that has the same tracking capabilities as the mobile app. Um, students can wear it with their IDs um, and walk around with them. Here you can see our web app and uh, the phone that's connected to our network. And as he leaves the room, you can see on our cop that uh, you can detect when he leaves the range of a certain router. So these green dots indicate routers and their distance from it.